Hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be a very quick walkthrough of the muscles of the arm. There will be a separate video for muscles of the leg, one for muscles of the face, and one for the muscle man. So be sure to watch for each of those. Uh, we're not going to go over what all of these muscles do. Uh, you can get those from your chart in your lab, but we are going to walk through each of the muscles that you need to know and where they can be found on the arm. Now just to kind of orient you so that you know what you're looking at, here in this left image, uh, the hand down here, you're looking at the back of the hand. So this is the back of the forearm, this is the back of the upper arm, here's the shoulder area, and then in the image on the right, this is the palm of the hand, so you're looking at the inside of the forearm here, the inside of the upper arm. So let's go through and see which muscles you need to know for our lab. Let's start at the top, this large kind of triangular muscle that covers a lot of the shoulder, that's the deltoid. Um, you'll hear a lot of people who work out call it the delt but we can't use abbreviations, we have to use the full name. So this is the deltoid. Down in the upper arm, there are two major muscles that you need to know. Now right here, this is called the biceps brachii. Now most people are familiar with this, but when they name it, they call it simply the biceps. We can't do that because when we look at the video for muscles of the leg, we'll see that there's also a muscle there that has the name biceps uh, and it's called the biceps femoris, so we have to be more specific. This muscle, which is when you see little kids flexing to make a muscle, this is the muscle that they are contracting to show, and that's the biceps brachii. On the back of the arm, this is the triceps brachii. So on the front, this is the biceps brachii, and on the back is the triceps brachii. So let's real quick dive into what those mean. Uh, when you see seps, C-E-P-S, that is a word that means head, and the head is uh, kind of the larger division of a muscle and its point of attachment. So the biceps, it looks like two separate muscles. And for the triceps, we see one part here, one part here, and the third part is kind of hidden in this view, but if we look over to the other view, we can see the third part right there. So the triceps has three heads, and the biceps has two heads, bi for two, tri for three. Now let's look down in the forearm. There's a few muscles down in the forearm, uh, actually a few more than we saw in the upper arm. So let's first see this part right here that kind of begins just above the elbow on the back of the arm and wraps around the front of the forearm. This is the brachioradialis. Just below that in this view, we have the extensor carpi radialis longus. Very slightly hidden from view, we'll see it better in just a moment. This is the flexor carpi ulnaris. And right here with this little white extension protruding up into it, this part is the extensor digitorum. Now if we go over to our other view, we can see some of the same muscles. Here's a little bit of that deltoid that we saw. Here is a part of the biceps brachii. We can see a few portions of the triceps brachii. Here on the side of the thumb, we can see the brachioradialis. Coming up from the middle of the palm, we see the palmaris longus. On the outside, uh, or the pinky side, here we see 
flexor carpi ulnaris. That was the one that was kind of hidden over here, but we can see it quite a bit better on this view. Now don't forget for each of those muscles, you must know what do they do? What is their function? And remember, you can't say moves hand, moves fingers, because move doesn't tell us anything. You have to say flexes or rotates or extends. You have to be specific. You can't just say move. Okay, so take your time, study these, and let me know if you have any questions.